very conscious that what I do is an absolute privilege. I'm very lucky to be out testing some of the best tackle around and never more so than on a day like today with a set of Dyer Infinities in my hands. Now, later in this video, one of you can win this complete set plus the spot and marker versions as well. So let me crack on and tell you all about them. So we all know that Daiwa love a little three letter abbreviation when describing all the features that go into their rods. If you've looked at the tech spec for these infinities then you might be blinded by a bit of jargon. So let me guide you through what each feature means. Let's start with X45 which actually forms part of the title of these rods. These are the Daiwa Infinity X45 version. What is it? Well it's exclusive to Daiwa and basically it's all to do with the way the carbon is layered when constructing the blank. Traditional carbon blanks have got carbon layered at 0 degrees and then 90 degrees. X45 adds a 45 degree wrap and what that does is it reduces torsional twisting. So when you put a cast under load, what you can sometimes see if you've ever taken a photograph of yourself casting is that the rod can twist and what that does is it soaks up your energy and so it dissipates and isn't used in the actual forward motion of the cast and it also of course reduces your accuracy. So X45 shores up that torsional strength, it stops the blank from twisting during the cast and aids your accuracy and your distance. Another technical term is V-joint and that's all about the section where the two rod pieces meet. Now traditionally rod builders have always added extra strength here because it is the weakest part of a rod blank and what that can mean is you can sometimes get flat spots here where the rest of the rod is bending during the cast or when playing a big fish. This bit because it's been strengthened can flatten out. Now that's not great when trying to get the optimum casting potential so what Daiwa have done is they've used what they call their bias carbon and that's again using that sort of X45 theory where they've got the carbon wrapped at an angle a 45 degree angle which increases the strength here so you've got that added strength but it also means that it'll also be a bit more pliable and it will still create that full bend as it goes through the rod so no more flat spots with V-joint. When you look at Dyer Infinity rods across the range what you might notice if you've got a keen eye is that the top two guides are quite close together now that's down to another abbreviation MT stands for magnum taper and it's the design of the blank that magnum tapered blank and it creates quite a high speed area here during the cast that initial loading point is in the tip it creates quite a, a sort of responsive area here and you need the guides quite close together to channel the line in the best possible way so you don't get any frap ups or any tangles at the tip and then the guides can space out as it goes further down the blank so you'll notice when you cast one of these you get quite a lot of force through the tip and then it builds into the power that you get from the butt section of these rods. Another three letter abbreviation from Daiwa is HVF. That stands for high volume fiber. Now all blanks when they're made are a mix of carbon fiber but also resin. Now resin helps bond those carbon fibers and does increase strength but it also adds weight. So with these HVF blanks Daiwa have reduced the amount of resin in the blanks, creates a crisper more responsive carbon blank. If you like this video then please do subscribe to our channel and also be aware that we're across all other social media including TikTok where you might find some outtakes and behind the scenes video clips. So hopefully those abbreviations are a bit clearer in your mind now and they certainly help to demonstrate the performance characteristics of these infinity rods. But I do think there are a couple of other design clues that are also worth pointing out. We've got that Japanese shrink rubber handle. It's very thin, it feels nice in the hands. And then just above that, you've got these Alps reel seats, certainly an eye-catching reel seat. I'll be honest, perhaps a bit of a Marmite item to some carp anglers, but you can really lock down your reels in those so there's no slippage at all and they feel solid and well built in the hand. And talking of built, these rods are built in Britain. They're manufactured in Daiwa's Scottish HQ. I've been fortunate enough to go to the factory a couple of years ago and I saw rods like these being hand finished. And I think that's probably worth bearing in mind in the current global marketplace when it comes to stocking levels and after sales service as well. Now the fishing rods I've been using today, they're the 12 foot, three and a quarter pound Tesco versions, which are great all round rods, great for casting, but also not too hard for playing fish on close in. But there's also a matching spod and a marker rod that goes with the set as well. I've got the spod rod here with a four and a half pound test curve and the marker rod with a four and a quarter pound test curve. And they are, really are matching. They are identical down to all the X45, the V joint, the HVF and all those features, even down to the Alps reel seats. 
So I think it's fairly evident then that these are really feature packed rods and so they should be. They sit right near the top of Daiwa's rod output and have RRPs of over £400. And I'm very happy to say that I can share the privilege of using them with one of you. One of you will win all three rods that I've got here plus the spod rod and the marker rod. To enter what you have to do is be subscribed to our YouTube channel be subscribed to Daiwa's YouTube channel and in the comments below this video write hashtag Carpology and hashtag Infinity. We will pick the winner a month from today and we will pin the winner's name in a comment beneath this video.